Hi there, how, how are you doing? doing? Alright, mate. Thank straight. you very much. And thanks, for and thanks for joining me. Yes. Thanks for joining me. No problem. Well done. Someone's going to go into it. So, what do you think of the festival so far? Oh, fantastic. What about the weather? Oh, lovely weather. Oh, you lovely know, weather. I must have done something right in my life. <laughs> 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 no, the weather's been great. The yeah. Been been great. Well, it, so, it's been good out there. I mean, what's the vibe? Great like? vibe. Yeah. Lovely, friendly people. Yeah, some good really, really nice, friendly people. You've been getting some good feedback from everybody. Fantastic so far. Cool. So, okay. So, at the moment, how, how does this rank with all the other South Force you've done? Because you've done so many great, great, great It's parties. just so different, but it's a little bit early. I mean, we've only been open two hours. It's true, if you ask true, me in about five hours, then I'll give you a better idea, no but problem. so far, so good. No problem, we'll come back to that. I was going to say, could you give us a little bit of a brief, um, a brief history? Of Southport, how it all started and, you know, how... Yeah, it Southport yeah. weekend that started 30 years ago to this year. Uh, we started in a small holiday camp up in berwick upon tweed near right. Scottish Borders. Right. We moved it around a few times. The reason it stuck with the Southport weekend in name was because the site of Southport was some, somewhere we used for nearly 20 years. Okay, right. Before moving to Minehead, but the Southport weekend, it just came and then you had to stick with. Right, and now we're right. in London. Exactly. That's totally confusing people. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, fair enough. That's good. That's good. So, why did actually the, the Southport weekend just stop? Because I must say, I have to be honest, I went to my very first one, Southport 52, oh. and it was absolutely fantastic. I, I think. And I always thought, why is this ended? Why has this got to stop? Can, can I be honest with you? Yep. I think expectations became so high with the sure. calibre of artists we were putting on. Well, I think sure. we needed to give it a break, and I think by coming back here with 11,000 people today, sure, sure. it's proved there's something for the future. Sure. No, and we're going to, you know, and we've got Croatia as well, sure. so we're concentrating on that. Right. But I think generally expectations just went through the roof. Sure, things you know, have changed. And stuff if everybody like wanted Stevie Wonder, oh yeah, give us two million pounds, I'll put them on, you know. <laughs> like, no, it's not going to happen. That's understandable, no, that's yeah. totally understandable. So um, you're, you're doing sort of the, the Sunsea Beat thing now. You're on Sunsea Beat 8, I mean, how's that thing going? Oh, how's that brilliant. Going? It's a beautiful little gem of a place, Croatia. Yeah, I went there myself last oh, year. Oh, looking really forward to that as well. Indeed. And also you're doing the Liverpool. Yeah, Liverpool. Liverpool's how flying did, how as well. How did that come about? How oh, that, that came about because a friend of mine, James Morgan, he, he, he did this thing from Liverpool. Great lad. It was just too big for him. Yeah. So he said, can you help us, please? I can't cope. Right. So <laughs> well, we, we jumped in. It's really gone well. Great stuff. Brilliant stuff. Okay, well, Alex, thank you very much for joining us. I hope you don't mind. No. Uh, and that was, that was actually a, a great interview. And hopefully see you around. Thank you, Diane. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you. Cheers.